All right, everyone, my name is Christian Apple, and I play drums in the band Light the Way. Uh, I'm just gonna be really quick about this. I am the anti-drummer, in a sense. I'm not really into all the bills, bell and whistles and stuff. I just play drums. I don't really care like what it sounds like, but I'm very picky about the setup. So I play a Premiere kit. It's from the mid 90s. I think it was made probably about 95 from the research I've been able to find online. And uh, the wood is made of birch and eucalyptus. They don't make Premiere kits anymore from what I understand, but they were really popular in the mid to late 90s here in America, really easy to find. And now they're really hard to find. So if you do find one, it's, I guess you'd call it rare and maybe even slightly vintage now. This, this particular Premiere kit is like an orange kind of color. Orange is my favorite color. So it makes sense that I would have an orange kit. The bass drum, I think is a 20 by 20, which me being a big guy and that little small bass drum, it just makes me even look even fatter, unfortunately. The tom drum that I use is not a Premier. I have that one in the garage and use that seldom. This one is just like a cheap a Guitar Center brand a floor tom. And the snare drum here, I'm not sure what brand it is. Oh, it's a Tama. It's a decent snare drum. It, it you know, when we were on tour, it broke a lot. <laughs> the, the snare underneath the rattle, which is the thing that defines the snare drum, kept coming undone and had to deal with all that on tour. And that was just, that was the thing that sucked about the tour. But other than that, Got it figured out now I know how to fix it. So if I ever have that issue again, get it done. So the symbols I use are Sabian. I've been pretty loyal to Sabian drums, or Sabian cymbals that is. And I'm not sure why I, I stuck with Sabian cymbals, but when I first started out, I bought um, a Sabian like starter package at Skips Music here in Sacramento. And uh, on the front cover, it was the drummer from the band Presidents of the United States of America, which was a pin that I did really like a lot in the, so I thought, I like his music and I like his style of playing. Like maybe these are the kind of symbols I should have too. So I've basically stuck with it. Like I said, I'm not really into all the bells and whistles and stuff with drumming. And I don't really kind of care about every little thing, but there are some key things that I find that are important to me and in, in my playing. So the back of, well, the, bass, the back of the bass drum here where the kick is, I have like one of those uh, Remo skins that has like the, the padding around it. And since I don't put anything inside the bass drum to kind of give it like kind of deaden the sound, the I guess like the foam is basically to help kind of condense that, I guess. And uh, the pedal I use currently is an Iron Cobra 600, which I had to do quite a bit of research online. I was on Reddit trying to figure out what would be a great bass pedal to use for playing pop punk or just punk in general. And that was the suggestion I found. So I went ahead and went with it and ended up finding that Paul, who runs uh, Small Step Records, as well as uh, plays in Grandpa Loves Rhinos, that happens to be the same pedal that he uses. So I figured, well, hey, if he uses that and it sounds great on all the recordings, why not? The sticks I use, I'm super cheap. And uh, so I use the Sound Percussion brand drumsticks I get at Guitar Center. They're typically the ones that are the cheapest. And I use a 5A, and sometimes I'll use a 5B, um, just out of, like if I run out of 5As, I have 5B. 5B is a little bit of a thicker stick, and uh, since I have like circulation issues, my hands go numb pretty easily. And you know, if you've ever seen us play live, a lot of times after the you know second or third song, I'm having to like, you know, shake my hands and just try to get the blood flowing. And so when I have a thicker stick, it causes my hands to get tired a lot easier. Um, it's a lot more to grip and uh, anyway and just on the subject of drums my favorite drummer has always been the drummer of less than Jake uh, Vinny even though he's not in the band currently anymore I still admire his drumming from back in the day and uh, I guess if I ever had I guess a, a dream drum set I guess it would be his setup after all he's the drummer that I admire and have looked up to and and even when I started playing drums you know I would put on you know, some of their albums like Losing Streak and Pezcore and uh, just, you know, I just try to play along to that. And that's kind of like how I kind of figure out how to play punk. And I feel like that's the only kind of genre I'm really good at. Other than that, oh, yeah, I also have this uh, China here. It's a, a Wuhan. Um, I don't really use it too much in live shows. Sometimes on recordings, it's just something fun to have. Um, and it's just kind of like reminiscent of the of the days when I used to play, I don't know, like beat down hardcore or, or metalcore or whatever. And since we don't do any of that kind of stuff, it's still fun to have. 
and to play around with. I also have, a, gosh, I think these are called the Zilbil, Zilchbil, whatever it's called, the bell. And this is a, a Zildjian, and this is honestly the only Zildjian symbol I have. Sabian, I don't know if they make one of these or not, but it's just got a really great ping sound to it, and it sounds great, like, in those little, like, moments of, like, transition from, like, one part of the song to the next. It's just nice to hit that, and it's, I don't know, it's kind of like when someone hits, like, a, a china, it's just, a, just that great little piercing sound in between a you know a changing part of a song i don't know yeah that's about it so if you're watching this video and you have anything else to say if you want to leave a comment down below in the video and i'll do my best to keep an eye on those comments and if you want to talk to me through there you can as well as the rest of the guys in the band and if i could give any kind of advice to anyone out there that, that wants to pursue playing drums i think it's important to maybe when you listen to music to try to listen to the drummer what they're doing and uh, if you can find a drum set, don't go out and buy an expensive one. Go out and find something like super cheap, a hand-me-down, and just give that a, a whirl and just see what happens. And if you like it, then you can go ahead and upgrade and get something super fancy. Just continue to just play because uh, practice makes perfect, you know? And uh, anyways, I guess that's all I got to say.